How do we tackle those problems and transit, uh, make transition through to the Venus project if we've only got, say, as scientists are saying, 15 to 20 years uh, on the current lifestyle that we have before we start having, seeing real problems within uh, the planets? The planets are excited by climate change. That's not up to us. You know, we have no power. It's up to you. If you don't demand that the government looks into the Venus Project or that uh, a member of the Venus Project can present it on television, if you, know, if you say, all I hear from is army people and military people, I don't hear new ideas. Why don't you have the Venus Project on? That's up to you. If you do nothing, we have no power. Don't put it up. What are you going to do about the tsunami waves? Did, did you put me in charge of that? <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Thank you. Uh, how can um, criminals and um, corrupt individuals be dealt with in a world where yes. there are no um, there's no justice system, as it were, okay. no prisons, no government? First of all, there's no money anymore, you know. So instead of I look at everybody as criminal. Supreme Court judges, parliament, government, all criminals. They've all been paid off. The drug companies pay off senators to carry out their problems. So what are you going to do with the criminals? When you go to a supermarket, you buy a box of Wheaties. If you open the box, sometimes the Wheaties are halfway down. To me, that's criminal. They're all criminals, criminals. So most people are criminals. You know, when you work in a department store, you don't say if you go elsewhere you can get the same product cheaper. You're a criminal. And if you big lips, thick lips are the in thing. You put the lipstick higher than your lip. That's deceptive. The whole day it's this guy with a white collar that says, I now pronounce you, pronounce you man and wife. Who the hell is he? And then if you don't get along. Some lawyers say they cost you three thousand dollars to split. Everybody makes a buck on human misery. So I'm saying today it's very terrible because uh, people don't act always in your behalf. They act in terms of finances. And the same thing when the doctor says, "I think your kidney has to come out." I don't know. He's trying to pay off a new yacht or a house. But when my kidney has to come out. I don't know. I don't trust the money system. So there was a hurricane in Florida, southern Florida, that wiped out hundreds of houses. So I designed a conical shaped building, like an inverted cone. No hurricane or whirlwind can suck the roof off. On top I put a turbine, so the hurricane blows it around, keeps the refrigerators going, and the lights. So I asked people, government does this. It says there's a terrible hur hurricane coming. Get out of your house. Go away. So I was waiting on the freeway and the stop and come say, where are you going? I don't know. Well, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> they don't have a place for you. So we would have hurricane proof shelters all through the West Indies, Tsunami detectors, high wave detectors, and the beaches would look like continuous things, and the lifeguard would be in the middle. So you can see three beaches at the same. You know, when you look into the Venus Project, you'll see all these designs. We don't say we want to build a better world where everybody gets along. We deal with how you do that. Otherwise, you have nothing but a verbal hobby. That's what religion is, a verbal hobby. Do you agree that um, culture and identity are human rights? And if you do, how would the Venus Project, or your vision for the future, preserve that right. Do you agree that identity and culture are a human right? And if you do, how will the vision for the future preserve that right? Do you believe that, that uh, identity and culture are human rights? And how would you preserve that in Venus Project? Humans are moved out of government, number one. And government becomes cybernated. That means computers are connected to industry, transportation, and agriculture. And they produce food and transportation of goods and services. They do not control people. I want to repeat that.
They do not control people. It's just the production lines and factories producing goods and services. So you don't have people in a position to go up there. There was once a guy that came up to Jacques and said, um, I'm Jewish. Would you permit tradition in the future? Jewish said, tradition. Yeah, Jewish tradition. And he said, sure, we'll permit traditions. But the Klan meets for 25, you know, the Klan's been meeting for 75 years. Would you permit that tradition? He said, no, 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 not that. So, so how do you decide? Traditions that have long outlived their usefulness and have no correlation with the physical world will be surpassed. If we don't have the knowledge to do that, we will hurt ourselves. For example, in Poland, they believed in the cavalry. The Germans believed in war tanks. And they wiped the hell out of thousands of Poles on horses because they couldn't make the change. In America, there was a general called Billy Mitchell who believed that airplanes could sink a ship. The Navy said never. So they put it to test and they sank two ships and the Air Force was moved up. Then came the, the, the missile men with guided missiles. It said that you don't need men in bombers. You can project a trajectory and wipe out certain factories. And the aircraft people said, you've got to have human flying airplanes. Then after the missile men got in, by the way, they got in, the laser men came. And they from outer space to burn the city. You don't need bombers. And they fought the laser men. You always got the in-group saying airplanes were good one time, lasers today. Then there's the, what the Chinese are doing. They're not building warships and airplanes. Anymore. They're building computer jamming systems. That's where the future is. If you jam the computers that control the all these equipment, missiles and everything else, that's where it is. Not warships and millions of men. So if you're not smart enough to know that, you will be surpassed. Okay. Um, Sorry, we've got to wind up there now, guys. Um, Chuck's got another lecture in a couple of hours and he needs to get some rest. And I hope I hope he's answered all your questions. I mean, you know, you can't remember everything. You can check out the Venus Project website and you get more answers than you need. Um, but just Thank put you. your hands together, Jack, first time.